Hi everyone and welcome to Ivanti Patch for Windows Servers. In this video I will be introducing you to Folder Paths, one of the new features now available in version 9.3. So let's get started. Folder Paths provide the ability to organize groups and templates into logical folders in the navigation pane. This will be a huge help to you whenever you work with or manage these items. Let me demonstrate this feature using machine groups. For this demonstration, I have set up two primary folders named Servers and Workstations. The Servers folder contains two subfolders that represent all of the live and test servers that I manage in my organization. In the Workstations folder, I created several different subfolders to represent the various company offices that are scattered across the country. As you can see, organizing the groups into logical folders provides not only a handy tool for finding a particular group, it is also extremely useful for visualizing how my machines are situated across the organization. Setting up your folder paths is pretty simple. When you create or edit a machine group, simply type a folder path name into the path box. You can specify as many folder levels as needed by using a backslash to separate the levels in the name. For example, let's create a new office group in our workstations folder. The subfolder will be created when you save the machine group. If you do not specify a path, the machine group will be contained at the root level of the My Machine Groups list. Let me quickly add a machine into this group to make it valid, and then let's go see what this looks like in the navigation pane. And sure enough, we now have a new subfolder for Salt Lake City. If you want to make changes to the folder structure, that also is very easy. To assign a machine group to a different folder, you have three options. You can open the group and type a new folder path name into the path box. You can right click the group and select Edit Path. Or, you can use my favorite method and simply click and drag the group to its new location. For example, you can also use the click and drag method to assign an entire folder and its contents to a different folder. The folder you move becomes a subfolder. To delete a folder, you can click and drag the groups to a different folder, or you can delete all groups contained in the folder. The folder will be automatically deleted when the last group is removed from the folder. Finally, this feature is also available for use with your patch scan templates and your deployment templates. For more information about Ivanti Patch for Windows Servers or any of our other products, please visit our product documentation page. Thanks for watching.